This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. So next next topic is development leading to the Bohr's model of atom. Okay, so in Bohr's model of atom, this is another model we have studied about. Uh, two models correct one is thomson atomic model and the second one is rutherford scattering experiment okay now the next one is bohr's model of atom okay so in this bohr's model of atom historically uh, results observed from the studies of interactions of radiations with matter when there is a interaction of radiations with the matter have provided immense information regarding to the structure of atoms and molecules okay so just i will write down here so when the interactions of radiations interaction of okay radiations with the matter okay interactions of radiations with the matter so they provide immense information regarding to the structure of atoms and molecules which gives the information about structure of atoms and molecules so bohr utilized these results to improve upon the model proposed by rutherford so we he improved the bohr model means it is a improvement of the rutherford model so what he explained in his model means the first top one is dual character dual means which exhibits the two characters okay which exhibits the two characters of the electron so dual character of the electromagnetic radiation which exhibits a dual character which means radiation processes both wave like properties and also particle like pro two characters means both is wave like property which exhibits wave like party properties and the particle like properties okay next is second one experimental results regarding to the atomic spectra which can be explained only by assuming quantized electronic energy levels in atoms okay quantized electronic energy level so these are the two points he explained and the next topic is wave nature of electromagnetic radiation so electromagnetic radiation the first question is it thinks in your mind it is going what do you mean by electromagnetic radiation correct so electromagnetic radiation means when electrically charged particles move under the acceleration okay alternating electric and magnetic fields are produced and transmitted so consider the these are the charged particles okay they move under the acceleration so alternating electrical and magnetic field they are produced okay during the transmission these fields are transmitted in the form of waves which is transmitted where electric and magnetic fields are produced so they are transmitted in the form of waves these are called electromagnetic waves so as the name only indicating that what do you mean by electromagnetic waves means electric and magnetic fields okay both are due to the charged particles electric and magnetic fields are produced alternatively so that these fields are move in a uh, form of waves this is known as electromagnetic radiation and the next one is so as the how waves are going like uh, means so this part is called crust okay Uh, see here i think you can observe here this part the uh, this one uh, means uh, this peak part is called crest and the uh, lowest part here in this uh, negative side you are observing the peak but this is called trough where lambda is the wavelength um, uh, then uh, there is a space in between the two waves okay this is the next to this is the height okay how much it is uh, the peak level okay so this is how the wave can you can observe in this figure and the next topic is the, what are the properties of electromagnetic waves okay electromagnetic waves properties of electromagnetic waves so the oscillating electric and magnetic fields are produced by oscillating charged particles so they are perpendicular to each other the oscillating magnetic fields are produced okay so the oscillating electric and magnetic fields produced by oscillating charged particles are perpendicular to each other and both are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave so as uh, i will i will show the one figure for this one see here ha huh. where the electromagnetic waves are going 
so this is the direction of the propagation so this is the huh, see here this is the uh, magnetic field component and this is the electric field component what are they are explaining here the electric and magnetic field components of an electromagnetic waves okay these components have the same wavelength they these components having the okay they are having the same um, what is that same <coughs> they are having the same wavelength okay then uh, same uh, wait they are having the <laughs> they are in this they are having the same same wavelength okay and uh, they are having the same wavelength uh, frequency and uh, next is speed and uh, next is amplitude correct so but uh, they vibrate uh, so they vibrate in two mutual perpendicular planes they vibrate in two mutual perpendicular planes these are the mutual perpendicular planes means electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other here so this is about the first point okay please remember this point so the first point is both they are oscillating electric and magnetic fields are oscillating and they are perpendicular to each other unlike the sound waves or water waves electromagnetic waves don't require medium it can move in any medium any vacuum okay it is not dependent on the medium next then what do you mean by electromagnetic spectrum do you have any idea about electromagnetic spectrum okay if you don't have means i will give the uh, what is what do you mean by electromagnetic spectrum so it is now well established that then there are many types of electromagnetic radiations okay there are many types of electromagnetic radiations which differ from the one another in wavelength these constitute what is called electromagnetic spectrum there are many types of wavelengths okay there are many types of there are many types of uh, electromagnetic radiation so electromagnetic what radiation there are many types of electromagnetic radiations which differ from one another in the wavelength okay they are differ from in wavelength so this is known as electromagnetic spectrum okay and the next top next point is different kinds of units are used to represent the electromagnetic radiations so in the how we are using to represent some length in meter like electromagnetic radiations there is a specification units are there so how to represent these radiations are characterized by the properties namely frequency and the wavelength where frequency is denoted by v and wavelength is like this the frequency and wavelength and the velocity are related by the equation c is equal to v into lambda where we know the c and means velocity of the light what is the velocity of light you know, is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second so this is a very important formula please note it down so that uh, it will be this uh, this formula can be used in the problems okay so uh, different kinds of units uh, depending then you just remember the units now and the next one is wave number okay what do you mean by wave number okay wave number it is a defined as the number of wavelengths per unit length okay number of number of wavelengths per unit length that is called uh, wave number okay so its unit uh, are proportional to wavelength unit that is meet per so meet rest to m rest to minus one however it is not si unit okay so this is about wave number and the next one so these are this is the wave number what do you mean by wavelength uh, so please note it down some of the points here what do you mean by wavelength distance between the two neighboring troughs and crest i just showed this is the wave okay you know this is the 
crest this this is the crest and where this is the trough so in between there is a gap distance so that is called wavelength frequency number of times mm, number of times see number of times a wave passes through a given point in a medium that is called wave number this is and the velocity is this the distance traveled by the wave the distance traveled by the wave in one second it is called c is equal to v lambda then the wave number number of wavelengths per centimeter then the amplitude height of the crest and or depth of trough determines the intensity of the beam of light that is called uh, uh, the amplitude so please remember these points so that uh, they will maybe they are they may ask you the definition of that so i just uh, what is this is the first point i explained you uh, about what they are perpendicular where electrical and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other so as i said about the electromagnetic spectrum correct so in that they are differ from their wavelength and frequency as i said the first one is gamma rays next is x rays uv rays ir then microwaves fm then radio waves in that fm and am will come then long radio waves so so where the small portion is called this is called visible spectrum where uh, human eye can visible all these lights so this is called visible uh, spectrum in this you should remember the range how from range means uh, for example consider that example radio uh, frequency region is around 10 raised to 6 correct where it starts from 10 raised to 6 like uh, uh, where it can be used 10 raised to 6 then uh, uh, you which is used for broadcasting like a microwave region around 10 raised to 10 correct so where microwave region is around 10 raised to 10 which is uh, see here 10 raised to 10 and which is uh, can be used in uh, radar then infrared region around 10 raised to 13 used for heating uh, ultraviolet region around 10 raised to 16 uh, component sun's radiation okay so this is about uh, electromagnetic spectrum the small portion around 10 raised to 15 hertz is what is called as 10 raised to 15 this is called a visible region okay so this is called visible region this is about electromagnetic spectrum so please uh, this is these are the wavelength okay note it down about microwaves and infrared rays 6 into 10 raised to 6 into this uh, and next to 7600 to 3800 is visible uh, visible wavelength and ultraviolet x-rays and gamma rays please note down and just remember all these points and the next one is problem so based you are having one problem so that you have to solve so uh, i will uh, uh, i will explain you the solution of this uh, just consider the problem now question is the vivid bharati station of all india radio delhi broadcast on a frequency of 1368 kilohertz okay calculate the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation emitted by transmitter which part of the electromagnetic spectrum does it belongs to okay so they have given the frequency which is v okay one three six eight that is kilohertz so you know the formula correct uh, which formula you know c is equal to v into lambda okay hmm. c is equal to v into lambda you know now you know the value of c and v so they have asking wavelength what do you mean by wavelength so that lambda is equal to what c by v c you know the velocity of the light 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second correct and the next uh, where lambda uh, you don't know uh, lambda value how to find where this is 1368 kilohertz so uh, after calculation of this part what you will get means this kilo can be written as what 10 in raised to 3 so by calculation of this you are getting 219.3 correct with 219.3 meter this is the value of lambda so this is the value of lambda you are obtaining this is the characteristics of radio wavelength so as just um, see here 219.3 meter mm, radio waves where is the radio waves 219.3 so this is the radio waves which belongs to the radio waves okay and the next question is the next problem is what okay 
द वेवलेंथ रेंज ऑफ विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रम एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम वॉयलेट टू रेड ओके टू रेड एक्सप्रेस दिस वेवलेंस इन फ्रिक्वेंसी हाउ यू आर एक्सप्रेस इन दिस वेवलेंथ इन फ्रिक्वेंसी सो यू नो द फॉर्मूला वी इज इक्वल टू सी बाई लैमडा करेक्ट v इज इक्वल टू सी बाई लैमडा यू नो द फॉर्मूला सो वेर c इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू एट मीटर पर सेकेंड डिवाइडेड बाई यू नो लैमडा फोर हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर दे हैव गिवन फोर हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेज टू माइनस नाइन सो कैलकुलेटिंग हाउ मच यू आर गेटिंग सेवन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो इंटू टेन रेज टू फोर्टीन हर्ट्स ओके so where for frequency you should re, uh, should remember the units hertz and for wavelength this is v next uh, this is the frequency of red light okay frequency of next one the same formula you have to apply you know 3 into 10 raise to 8 meter per second where they have given 750 sorry this is for uh, this is for violet light okay this is for violet the first question in the second question they are asking for red light they have given 750 into now 10 raise to minus 9 after calculation of this how much you are getting so here 4 into 10 raise to 14 Hertz, you are getting. This is for red light. Okay. So this is for red light. So the range of visible spectrum is from four to seven point five zero. Okay. The wavelength in frequencies. No, this is in terms of frequency unit. So this is the second one problem. And the next one, calculate the wave number and frequency of yellow radiation having the wavelength. Five thousand eight hundred Amstrad. They have given the wavelength five thousand eight hundred Amstrad. Where Amstrad means five thousand eight hundred into just this is you are have to write ten raised to minus eight centimeter, or you can write five thousand eight hundred into ten raised to minus ten meter. Okay. They have first one is wave number. This can be written as like this. Wave number is equal to one by lambda formula. So where one divided by five thousand eight hundred into ten raise to minus ten. So how much you are getting? One point seven two four into uh ten raise to four centimeter. You have you have if you want to return in centimeter centimeter. Otherwise one point Seven two four into ten raised to six per meter. Okay, and the next one is frequency of yellow radiation. You know, v is equal to c by lambda. So just put down three into ten raised to eight meter per second. Wavelength they have given five thousand eight hundred into ten raised to minus ten meter. So meter meter get cancel after the uh, dividing of this. You how much you are getting five point One seven two into ten raised to fourteen per second. Okay, so this is the answer for this problem.